All right. So we're going to introduce a little bit more terminology here. Um, we'll talk about convergent um, series, and we talk about two different types of convergence now. Absolute convergence versus conditional convergence. So a series converges absolutely if you can take the absolute value of every term in the sequence, and the series still converges. Okay? It converges conditionally um, if, the, if the series converges, but once you take the absolute value, it no longer converges, right? So the, the standard example, of course, is the alternating harmonic series, right? So the alternating harmonic series minus 1 to the n over n, well, that converges conditionally. Right? We know that that series converges by the alternating series test, but we also know that if we take the absolute value, right, what happens if you take the absolute value of minus 1 to the n? You just get 1, right? So the absolute value gives you the harmonic series, and we know that the harmonic series diverges. Okay. So that's an example of a conditionally convergent ser uh, series. Okay? Um, main results on conditional versus absolute convergence, well, we have a theorem. And the theorem states, and you can maybe guess based on the definition, that um, if a series converges absolutely, then it just converges full stop, right? Um, so in other words, um, if the series with the absolute values converges, then the corresponding series without the absolute value will also converge, right? Um, so absolute convergence is a much stronger condition than simple convergence, right? Any absolutely convergence um, series will converge, um, but conditionally convergent series don't necessarily um, converge absolutely. Right? Um, so this is an important result. This comes in handy in a lot of scenarios. Uh, and, and we also mentioned uh, another thing that comes up, and again, we're not going to address this in a calculus course, but um, if a series converges absolutely, alternating or, or otherwise, um, an absolutely convergent series um, converges to a unique limit. There's only one possible value. Um, whereas, as I mentioned, a conditionally convergent series can be rearranged. And so you can talk about different rearrangements of a series, and there's, there's a whole uh, sort of, you know, section you could study on rearrangements and what can you do there. And, and you can go through this proof that um, you can get any number you want by rearranging a conditionally convergent series. Which seems really bizarre. Happens to be true. Um, so next up, what we want to do is we just want to look at a few examples to see if we can, uh, if we can apply this definition and tell the difference between convergent and absolutely convergent series.